kayaking on the East River is something I have never wanted to do. I'm in, uh, I'm in Greenpoint. And I'm with a friend today who does not, <laughs> does not want to be on camera at all. Not even her shadow. Which is fine with me. It's just too bad because she's quite photogenic. <laughs> I won't have much to say today for this. I think I've uh documented this one already, but this is probably the only phone left in all of Greenpoint. And that number is listed on my website somewhere. This is Christina's restaurant on Manhattan Avenue. Yeah, Street. This is where the last two outdoor payphones used to be, those two concrete smears. And these were cool phones because they actually both worked all the way to the bitter end. And they were prey phones. Uh, they didn't have prey on them, they had go to church, read Bible. But, um, like so many things, they're gone. Am I a hot date or what? Touring the non-existent payphones of Greenpoint. I don't think I've ever actually been in this station. This is the G train. I passed through this station just but never never exited here. <laughs> so I would have had no way of knowing that this little bit, this little treasure was awaiting me. <laughs> it's a PTS but does it work? It does not, and I think I would have known about this one if it did, because I have a spreadsheet of where the subway phones are, the, the ones that are supposed to work. And this, I don't remember this one being on that sheet, so. You never know where you're gonna find these things, although subway stations are a pretty good, a pretty good bet. There you go. This is on Bond Street in Brooklyn. It's the Masterclass Barber. It looks like uh, 66 Bond Street, I think. Or next door to 66. Well, look at that. <laughs> you never know what what going on uh, traveling a un, untraveled street, untrammeled by me at least. I never know what it's going to turn out. Oh wow, look at that spider web. I'm not going to touch this. I don't want to destroy a perfect spider web. This is, um, where the hell am I anyway? I'm somewhere, I think I'm in Gowanus.
it's um, I think it's about 2:45 now. As per our plan, she went back to go see her parents because it's Father's Day, Sunday, June 20th. Her parents don't don't know I exist. And I suspect they never will. But. Is there a name for that? Like, if I remember right, uh, like there's a name for a husband whose wife cheated on him. I believe that's like cuckold. And um, I don't know. If there are similar names for. various levels of relationship dysfunction. She did lead me to two new-to-me payphones, though, so there's a keeper, right? Uh, unlike those two, I've known about this one for a long time. This is at the PC Richard on Atlantic Avenue. And this has been dead a long time, although I, I did make some calls from here once, or a number of times. And there used to be another one on the other side of this parking lot. like a slot machine. This is where a payphone used to be at the Barclay Center. There used to be a, not a whole, there weren't a whole lot of them here according to my memory, but this was one of them. You want to come out the Lamborghini and have everybody nice? So the question I was getting at, I didn't finish my thought back there. I became so enchanted by the payphone, I guess. Uh, like there's a word for a man whose wife cheated on him, and that's cuckold, which historically at least meant, um, historically the term was used pejoratively to imply that if a woman cheats on her husband, then he must be sexually incompetent or impotent. At least that's been my interpretation. It's kind of an ugly stereotype, but it's an old word. But if there's a name for that, is there a name for some someone who is in a relationship with someone, if I can even call it that, uh, in a relationship with someone whose entire family, everybody she knows, does not know that, that person exists. Because her uh, her parents don't know about me. I doubt they ever will. I don't think she's talked about me to her to her friends, and I sure as hell hope she didn't talk to anybody at her place of work uh, for the sake of her career. But I don't know if there's a name for for somebody like this. It's hardly my my first rodeo in this realm. But uh, I was with a Muslim woman for. Two and a half years. I can't believe we made it that long. But her family never knew I existed. And, uh, well, if you're just tuning in here, you may have missed this episode, but sometime within the last year, I discovered that I'm a father. And that, uh, 25, 26 years ago, well, I'll just leave it at that. I had an affair, and I've, I've always been ashamed of it. But, um... Just one thought led to another sometime within the last year, and I looked her up. I looked up the woman, and she had had a kid, and I looked... I did a double take because this young woman was as white as I am. Born to 
a Chinese mother who was married to a Chinese guy. It's a long story, but everything aligned to confirm beyond any reasonable doubt that that was my kid. And you know, the exhilaration was fun, the discovery and everything, but after all that wore off, I just kind of shrugged my shoulders about the whole thing. I was basically a sperm donor because my conclusion is that uh, her husband couldn't perform and they, I think they had made some kind of arrangement that she was allowed to screw around just so he didn't know the details. And I've encountered a lot of situations like that. Not a lot, but I've encountered enough marriages and situations like that where I don't think it's altogether uncommon. Anyway, what can I say? She's a hot mess. She has a huge extended family, a big Italian family. And none of them know anything about this. Well, yeah. I'm just wondering if there's a name for a person in my position. I think I know the word I'm looking for. If a cuckold is someone whose wife cheated on him, then someone in a relationship who is unknown to everybody in that, in that person's life, their family, their friends, everybody, that person is a chump. This one's at the Barclay Center. Pretty sure I got this one a long time ago. Dead.